What stands out to me with the 995 loader is the features in the cab and the overall performance of it is impressive to me. They've really gone out of their way to make it more operator friendly with the touch screen, the VIM screen, the seating, the ergonomics of the controls. I think it's a lot better than the old cab style. The biggest thing about comfort in a cab I notice is how spacious the cab is. There's a lot more leg room. They moved the HVAC unit from behind the seat to around the side of the cab, which allowed the operator seat to be able to move back further for your taller operators. You have a nice box behind the seat to store your lunchbox so it's not bouncing around the cab. It has an improved operator trainer seat. The overall comfort of the cab is just by far greater than the previous cab. With this new cab, the visibility is much greater. The windshield, instead of cutting off right at the top, right up here above your head, the glass now continues all the way to the top of the cab so you can see it a full view of your bucket while you're loading the trucks. And the side view with the windows down lower on the sides of the machine are a lot better for view outside the sides of the cab. There's definitely less noise and vibration in the 995. It's very quiet, very comfortable, no vibrations at all. This is definitely a step above the older machines that had the front pump drives because you always felt vibration from that pump drive in front of the cab, the drive line running underneath the cab. All that's been eliminated in this. Your pumps are sitting behind the cab. So you don't have those rotational devices traveling underneath the cab to reduce that noise and vibration. The new EH upgraded steering is by far a huge improvement over the pilot steering. It's super sensitive also, but on the other hand, it's super light. And the difference with this one is more than anything, wherever that stick steer stays, it stays in conjunction with wherever the machine is angled. Where the old stick steer, you were constantly have to counter steer back. It took a lot more force to steer the machine. So over time, a long 10 hours, 12 hour shift, the operators are gonna by far be less fatigued at the end of the shift because it is a lot easier to maneuver. The onboard technologies in this machine, I believe, are going to be a step above. They're going to be extremely helpful for the inexperienced or the new operators coming in or operators that want to improve. The auto dig features let you focus on where you're going next and not have to be so concerned about whether I'm setting my tires, lifting the tires, whether I'm stalled out in the face because these auto dig features are doing all those functions for you. List all prevention is a really good feature. A lot of operators struggle when they're in a hard dig. The machine stalls out, you can't lift, you can't go forward anymore, you can't rack. So what the lift stall prevention does is it backs off on your rim pole, allows that machine to disengage from the face briefly, allows you to break out and continue up through the face, continuing with your dig cycle. Tire set is another feature on the machine in the auto dig features. Whenever you enter the pile, you normally would have to enter the pile, pull up on your hoist control just enough to set your tires or put weight on the tires so you don't spin. With the auto tire set feature, the operator no longer has to worry about that. Tire slip prevention helps operator like me with not as much experience in that aspect. When you're digging into the muck, it doesn't slip your tires. It backs it off a little bit and keeps you from having to worry about that problem. Before we used to have to go and dial down the rim pull setting. Now you really don't have to because the tire slip prevention is taking care of all these features behind the scenes. And then we also have operator coaching. It monitors up to 23 different parameters. So at any time, if you are doing something incorrectly, that blue star in the corner, your screen's gonna turn white. You hit that, it'll bring up your performance summary. It'll show you what that operator is doing. And it'll also play a short video to show you the wrong thing he's doing and let the operator know that he could be doing these functions different and better to make his performance improve. So I think for the new operators coming in or the inexperienced operator is going to be a great coaching feature on the machine. So adapting to these changes, you know, don't just form an opinion right up front. Go ahead and give yourself some time, take it slow. All these features working in the background all collaborate together and they help with machine performance, operator performance and your fuel efficiency.